What's up guys? This is the Broforman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States of America. And in this episode we are striking a blow right into the heart of the Huron uh, ter territory. And this is, their, this is their last city. So if we take this out, then the faction is destroyed and then we have to look at Austria, which has claimed Moose Factory. But anyway, let's get on. They have a number of forces in support, but I don't, I don't think it's going to matter because so do we. Let's make sure our cavalry are up front first and our artillery are way at the back. Because we do not need to worry about them. But let's hit... Well, let's, let it, let's attack and take their city. Um, but then we are rapidly going to be increasing, approaching the point where we need to... The, the, the beefing up of the United States Navy is a more important concern than almost anything else we have. Because once we declare Austria, or we try and buy the territory from Austria, but either, either way, either, either, even if it's not Austria and it's Britain or Spain, we're going to start to be at war with a bunch of European powers. So we need to be ready to deal with that, and that a lot of that will involve naval operations. Until now, we've been able to largely ignore the naval sphere as we conquered the continent of the United States. But now we are required to care. <laughs> um, and we need to make sure that we back that up with superior forces, which we will, because our economy is significantly awesome. Uh, let's put the foot artillery over on the right, how it is up front. Split the cavalry up. Get Anthony Wayne involved because he's become less cautious in his older years. He wants to die on the battlefield, die a glorious death. Make sure my cavalry on the right actually are pushing up quite hard because we don't want our cavalry caught out by these lancers. Let's make sure the artillery is engaging other targets. Engage the lancers. Okay, some of the enemy have been discovered. Let's get our guys running into position. Foot artillery, foot artillery engaging the chief's bodyguard to the rear. Charge my cavalry onto the bowmen. Steady! Steady! There we go, we found their main concentration. Bowmen are shattered. Bring the cavalry back because they may, might be needed. In my howitzers to attack ground, carcass shot directly in front of the line. Start to advance the line up on the flanks. Retreat the cavalry. See if we can draw them in. Advance this flank. See if we can find any more of them. But now they can turn around and engage. The regiment of horse is doing some excellent work. Charge on. Let's route each of these units one at a time. Let's get a line up ready to ready to engage the reinforcements. Keep pushing up our own line to prevent them from warming up. Foot artillery. Aha! 
Cavalry withdraw. Format. Bit of friendly fire there. <laughs> With the attack ground strategy. Send the cavalry minus line infantry to head towards this reinforcement point. There go a number of their forces have already recovered from the route. Now they are going to be engaged with our musketry. Push some infantry up there. Advance the cavalry. Make sure we're ready to deal with the medicine men when they come in. Should maybe put my infantry here. Focus on the warriors, so they, in case they don't, so they don't um, rush my cavalry. Enemy center has been broken again. So we have a dropping carcass shot ahead of our line. My new men reload. into the mass second rank elected not to fire shatter those warriors push the cavalry up the cavalry are very much out of it at the minute but it's okay my line is reasonable start to collapse some of these formations in on the flank of that block. Engage the garrison bowmen, they're out on the flanks. Run this regiment of line infantry in right into the rear. This block of warriors. Unsurprising that they routed really. Charge into the warriors here. Two artillery units fire, fire round shot at that unit there. Charge my cavalry over to help this main line. You cr crash into the back of those warriors. Put artillery, engage <coughs> the native bowmen here. One second, everyone. There we go. You guys in. There we go. Shatter them. Men charge right into that bow unit. They're both shattered, superb. Get 
bring my cavalry back. This is kind of a bit break. The formation's getting a bit funky. Charge down into this block of infantry. We won. One of these cavalry needs to come over here. Engage the bowmen. A regiment of horse, engage the chief's, chief's bodyguard, same with my, my cavalry. Excellent. Form our... Form our line. Once more. The enemy infantry have been defeated. Let's begin advancing towards the next formation. Pull my skirmishes back. Don't forget my superior artillery. Chief's bodyguard is very, very, very upset. Get my general to go and pursue routing troops. Yeah, they got my rangers to route. Cavalry was getting picked off by troops that were being by uh, bow armed troops. Actually, let's make these guys head back towards the main block. My cavalry, though, can do things. <laughs> they got my rangers to route in the end. Your two units of bowmen. Let's split these up. This is the full strength unit of cuirassier. They're going to take some hitting. There we go. Excellent. First battle of the session, so it's a bit more bloody than it usually is. <laughs> Fairly sure that's all of them, though. Yeah, there we go. We don't need to chase them down, because any, any troops that survive will be destroyed when the city is captured. Excellent. They, they're going to go. They can push back. The city is ours. Destroy it. And let's spend a bunch of money replenishing our troops. Let's destroy these meeting halls because we have no need of any more research capacity. Let's get some industry built. And let's get some roads built. At the ready. Yes, sir. This force is going to recombine. It's probably going to push up towards York Factory. I think that's how that's going to go. You're going to advance up towards Rupert's Land, where we're going to try and barter for the for the territory. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's going to be clear. Yeah. So let's send my rake on up to York Factory. Conversion of Montreal is completed. Let's convert Quebec. Yeah, one turn in Quebec will be done. Then we'll have to start work on these two native territories. Apart from that, things are looking pretty good. We've got some recruitment that's been completed. Two, okay, let's just actually check my... If I've got however, however many priests I have. Oh, just the one priest. Yeah, he's... He's been... He's been... Uh, he's been put to good use. Um, actually... I recruit another sloop. 
I can move this, although you are kind of a bit of a firefighting army, actually. Now you're gonna you're gonna stay here as a bit of a force to make sure we don't get surprised. Then, like I said, you're sat here yes, waiting for the orders to move onto New Orleans. Good. In terms of tech. Four turns to a quick climb. Seven turns to abolition of slavery. Yep, that's just fine. Huron have been destroyed, so that's a slightly speedier end turn phase on the way. Any orders? The Royal Navy are picking up a fleet from Agvictuk. Keep an eye out on them. Uh, no. Who do you think you are to be demanding territory? For peace? I think not. You want you propose an alliance. I mean, it's tempting because they're allied with all of Europe. I call them in and see if I can. I suppose well by by calling them in, I am preventing them from sailing an army to invade me, because we are now friends. And friends don't attack friends, do they, computer? Yes, that's right. Anyway. So much naval strength in Europe now. As soon as we, as soon as we go for it, we need we we need navies everywhere. Especially if we want to start clearing out trade areas, we're going to need to keep rebuilding fleets because they will be used. Well, at least the way I use the way I manage them, they will be used. Where to, Captain? Orders, Captain. York, uh, Williamsburg, your population is 106,000. Where to, Captain? So you can you can take okay, let's three ships. I'm pretty sure does you. Aye, aye, sir. And let's recruit a second one after that to immediately start. Although I could just start like this. Something like that. It's a lot of money to be sinking into the navy, but it's going to pay dividends. Long whack craft workshop. We could build a religious school here, but this agent is just tearing through this part of the world. It's it, he's going to convert them in no time. Okay, so I want to make sure that Boston. It's up and ready with all of the military techs, because I like to recruit here, because Philadelphia and Boston combined, you can pump out lots of units quite quickly. Quebec less so. But I think with Quebec, I kind of just want to have a, a little garrison. Let's go garrison, just to represent that Quebec is being held. You're going to pick up that artillery. You're going to get an order to advance straight on to you Orc Factory. It's going to take some time, but that's okay. We have oodles. Other than that, there's nothing we can upgrade. At least, well, we don't have the money to do any of that any, anyway, anymore. Policy's really good. Our ministers are okay. Two turns to the next election. Let's hit end turn. Yeah, you can you could quite naturally be on the offensive everywhere right from the get-go as the United States, but I kind of want to roleplay this a little bit a little bit more and say, right, our job, our focus is to secure the continent itself, then we'll start to secure the Caribbean, then we'll start to look at South America. And if Europe wants to create trouble on the back of that, then they are welcome to start something because we will finish it. I think actually I'm in a position to start building, um, start trying to get some trade ships on the go. I just want them to be protected by the time uh, someone shows up to try and kill them all. Although it appears the Ottomans are now beginning their natural 
process to chug the, make the game chug. Uh, no, I'm not giving you those technologies. Go away. Ultimately, once we declare war on France, I may well sail an army to Corsica to destroy the, the French and then gain a foothold in Europe and see what kind of carnage that kicks off. We will have to fight our way there if the Dutch are... We may, may actually have to... May, landing in Morocco might be the easiest thing to do. Construction report. Clearances. We don't have the next level... Uh... Farming tax yet. Port upgrades are going well. Keep the port upgrade tradition going. I think we've got any, any other ports that are being developed. I want to say. Oh, yes, I do. I have Savannah, but my. Hmm. So I want you to be a naval port or an export port, because I think all of your, your goods are being successfully exported through either Georgetown or from Pensacola. And I can't upgrade it to produce more, so St. Mary's could become another shipyard. In which case, Savannah, raise a unit of militia to protect the yard. Excellent, well that's everything else completed. Diplomacy, Austria, region. I will offer you. I will offer you a turn's income, 30 grand for Rupert's land. I mean, if you won't take that, I think we're in trouble. And we'll offer you citizenship. Okay, then just to be suitably thematic, I'll offer you Rupert's Land, I'll offer you 30,000, I'll offer you citizenship and rights of man, and then I will threaten you. Cats or trade. I'm going to wait a turn before declaring war, and then we'll declare war. I mean, I normally declare war immediately, but I, I'm going to kind of see if... Because there's lots of negative negative uh, things around uh, breaking alliances and so on. Even with trade agreements. I th although I think breaking trade agreements only upsets the person that you were communicating with. So Austria. Austria. Uh, trade agreement broken, minus 50. Yeah, so I don't think anyone else really cares. But I've broken a trade agreement with them. But I'm still going to give it a turn and then declare war on them and take territory. So you're fully booked. Orders. Fleet ready. So you require one more sixth rate to be at full strength. You guys. Actually, that's a point. Where is... Where is Constitution? Where did you go? Where is Constitution? They would definitely... We definitely had them. So you're all my individual sloop forces. Let's say Aranade frigate. Right, we'll replace you with a sloop. Keith Nelson's this fleet, who is in a fourth rate ship of the line, Cor Colorado. Sloop, sloop. Reynard Carlson. Oh, you're in the Constitution. Okay, yeah, you. I think you are not the best ship to be leading this fleet anymore. I mean, the Constitution is a oh, the Constitution is a fourth rate, roughly analogous to a fourth rate ship of the line, and I've got fourth rates in the fleet. Yeah, you're okay. 
Okay, cool. Just want to make sure you weren't lost. So this is an example of the benefits between them both. I could research lime juice in two turns and have first rate ship of the lines able to be constructed rather than needing to research steam engine which takes eight turns. Or I could have got that at least a lot quicker. Um, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Don't have to worry about that yet. Great, the military techs. Everything else is okay. I may... Humphrey Sloper. Ready and waiting for orders. Any further orders? You can lead the raising of another army. Let's get a unit of dragoons. Give me some heavy firepower in this army. Let's get a unit of legion. Let's get a unit of provincial scouts. And let's get. What else do I want? Probably just get a, ran a bog standard unit of infantry. I think so. We'll get some mercenaries. The mercenaries are more expensive to run, but they look cool. Cool. A couple of my ministers have got more um, experience in their relevant disciplines, which is good. Yeah, the Dutch are being scoundrels again. Nope. No peace. You demand 18 grand in peace? No. If I invade North Africa, you're going down, son. I mean, to be fair, I could start to do that now, really. Wonder where you're rushing off to. Oh well, I think yeah, but I, I think our invasion of North Africa is a smart thing to do because we're already at war the Barbary states and the Dutch just own that territory. I'd like to take yeah, take out the, take out North Africa, and the French. But once I secure continental the continental U.S., except for this one. We will attack the we well we can't attack the French because we're allied with them. But I want to knock out the Dutch, capture, capture all this territory, knock out the French by taking Corsica, then attack Britain and see what chaos starts up. Because Britain owns Gibraltar and they own Cagliari. So it could get quite messy quite quick, and that's pretty nice. Maine has developed. Well, you're going to be a trading port. The army staff college, good, good. Okay. This territory is going to absolutely boom with all this investment that's going into it. Anthony Wayne. I mean, I'd wager I can't leave yet. No, they're still very upset. Let's get my get some dragoons over here. You begin to convert, although you're doing it pretty rapidly. There's only there's less than two thousand people here. Nation destroyed. Corland, poor old Corland. Excellent. So this recruitment is ongoing. There's your artillery. Let's get a good mix of ooh, public and guard. Let's get two of those. Well, there is everything coming out of Boston. No, not yet. Everything, lots of things are coming out of Philadelphia. Hessian line are coming out of our random little territories. See, this is why I quite like recruiting from armies. It gives you your full roster. Although there is a caveat around, you could be recruiting from something down here. Okay, let's get the Savannah Militia to occupy St. Mary's. Right, so. Which 
Because I can't really commit anybody. Because I'm not at war with any powers that require our naval strength yet. Let's recruit a couple of fourth rates out of Providence. We'll start to build some trade fleets. You're currently just recruiting ships. Individually. In some ways that's good, in some ways that's bad, because we aren't making use of our facilities up here in Maine. So let's just max out their, their, all their possible recruitment of second-rate ships of the line. Now that I've gone down to 115 people, and the town is still growing. Interesting. Cap for shoe. Which is... There. That's right for a, for a dockyard, but we've already got... This territory's only got one, already got one. Unless we build a fishing port to support pop growth, maybe. Tax farmer. Good stuff, but okay. Declare war. Call. Don't call my allies in. Actually, yeah, call my allies in. Let's force them to pick. Like you, Maratha, and Prussia. Maratha, the Prussia, and the Ottomans didn't join them. Didn't join us, but the French did. Demand the surrender of Moose Factory, because there is no... There is no garrison, so that their days were numbered there. Maximum upgrades. So in terms of war... Yeah, we're just now at war with Austria as well. Nobody else. But people quite like us, except for the people they're at war with. Everyone else, you know, we're pretty good. I mean, the Dutch still own Ceylon, which is pretty nice. Spain doesn't like us. Understandably. The whole war thing probably upset them. Excellent. Okay. End turn. It's a lot of demands. Although, do we create a grand... <laughs> a grand American alliance? Yes. So Mexico is allied with Grand Colombia. And us. America is united. The Dutch are chasing away some Marathon ships and pursuing them. Excuse me, Persia. Don't mind us. We're just going to go blow some ships up right next to your coast. It's fine. Mm. Austria aren't going to like what we did. Not one bit. Ooh, are they going to invade? It'd be interesting if they did. I mean, the AI can be really slapdash when it comes to naval invasions. When it's the human player, they'll naval invade at the drop of a hat. If it's the AI, they'll go, eh. Um, counter offer. No, we're about to get quickline, so. I'm not going to ask them for it. That would just be a waste of our technology research. Norway, quick, exactly, we, go. we were just about to get them, so asking of them would be a bit silly. Explosive rockets, yeah, sure. Immediately upgrade the dockyard, don't even bother recruiting anything yet. Ah, yes, yeah, so we've now got farming upgrades, because we've got selective breeding. Almost, well, lots of farms in the, the US are going to be ripe for upgrades. Well, there may be all of them by the looks of it. You're going to see more production than has ever been seen before. Get all these 
bombs upgraded. Okay, I think that's all. Oh, nope, not quite. Got some farms in the Carolinas. Good, they're all done. Okay, let's send you guys down to the Dutch colonies here. So they need to be, they all need to be secured, and that might be what this army will do. When they've gathered their strength. So they, they're recruiting two more units from Republican Guard plus Hessian line. Yeah, it's just three units of regular US line infantry. And then that, then that army is completed and ready to be deployed. And it will probably be deployed down here. So let's raid these Dutch ports. Oh, the French have a gentleman stuck down here. Yes, I want these territories, and we will take Martinique. We'll gobble up all the ones we can gobble up, but don't require declaring war on everybody. Can you leave? You can leave almost immediately, in which case then you can advance towards... It's, easy. it's better to get to here, really. You're going to advance towards Yankton. It's going to take you a very long time. You really do not want to leave. Sir. You're 100% Protestant, but my agent can advance up to Moose Factory. Begin converting you fellows. Then up to York Factory. I mean, the Protestantism's on the march. You can't stop us. Nobody can stop us now. North Carolina. Ah, oh, I can't have you. Oh, Bourbon. There we go. Nathaniel Wallace. Couldn't have you in command. Not with the same picture as somebody else. No, sir. Your recruitment's at full steam. I accidentally recruited a brig. And then down here with the Carronade frigate. I mean, you will end up being part of a trade fleet, I think. To be fair, recruit little admiral, Gerald Carver. Although you, no, uh, you're not the same. Good. Okay, let's get some. Something like that. That's a good trade fleet. Because it in Darth Mod everything can trade, so it's more about. So some of it's efficiency. What is the ship you want? So you got a privateer there. Actually, I suppose as I've got privateers, I probably want to mix some in. But privateers don't offer any inherent inherent advantage. Um, it just depends on. You might say, well, they're a little bit cheaper than fifth rates to run. They got a little less firepower. So in theory, they may make more money per trade lane they occupy. But for the most part, it's... I think it's kind of very much by the by. You may as well create a fleet that looks good. Because I think for the most part, the trade fleets can be very cost efficient anyway. You probably don't want full stacks of main ships. Or like battleships trading. At least only, not if you want. Not permanently. You may put them there to secure the spot for a fleet of yours to arrive at a later date. And I think there is math somewhere that suggests um, three or four ships is meant to be the optimal, because at that point, the rate at which you gain that resource drops off per ship you put on it. So I think for the first three or four, it's a flat rate. You get the same number of goods for every ship. But as you put five, six, and seven ships on there, that fifth, sixth, and seventh ship the benefit becomes smaller and smaller. So the bigger the fleet, some of the later ships may be effectively almost worthless. So I still put, I, st I still put battleships on there. If I lose the, if I lose the spot, and I know I'm going to send a, a force to occupy it and bring it back into my empire, but I won't, I wouldn't do that practice by default. 
That's why I generally have a, a number of trade fleets plus a battle fleet to try and protect them, or at least to uh, to, to, <laughs> to destroy the forces that attack my ship, because it's impossible to protect them all. Unless you gave every either every trade spot or every two trade, spot, trade spots their own defensive fleet, which is doable, but then you start to then run into problems of, is it financially worth doing? You know, are the resources that you're collecting worth the, <laughs> the demand they are putting on your empire to support them and protect them? But it looks like the Ottomans are being chuggers again so let's start to yeah let's drop the recording and then i will bring you guys back once their intern has finished so see you in a second everyone there we go now we're back into it <laughs> back with the russians just running their troops around not really doing much of anything it's one thing i wish that empire was better at was having a power just dominate all of Europe because it seems to be quite rare that it happens like take Austria right now Austria could with the, the territory they hold conquer the entire territory of the, the entire continent pretty well but they won't they'll just kind of stop and it's not you kind of like you kind of think ah come on now one and minus two okay you could actually do that I recruit some militia to help. At the ready. Anthony Wayne. He may. Hmm. What to do with Anthony Wayne? Let's get some upgrades flowing. More trade, more! Adding a bunch of extra furs onto the market. I think I think we effectively control the fur market, except for some areas of Russia. They also provide stuff. A missionary on a mission. One more turn, then Moose Factory is secure. Well, Moose, Moose Factory is converted into uh, being entirely Protestant. Rupert's land, Rupert's land. Uh, yes, the roads. There's a British agent up here. He's already converted the population to Christianity for us, which is lovely. I think, Mr. Wayne, you come east. At the ready. Your humble servant. At the ready. Excellent. Where to, Captain? Ships, orders received. Ready. Okay, the Carronade Frigate Dolphin, do you have the move? You do have the move. Make ready. This army embark. Sir. Heave away, boys. Ready Heave for away. action. Sends you to secure Martinique from the former, former colonialists of the French. Let's send the Carronade Frigate into Barbados. Uh, this fleet goes over to Dutch Guyana. Start raiding there. So we'll secure Martinique. Then capture these two territories. Add some spices onto the market, which is pretty awesome. It's the only way to get spices outside of India and the East Indies trade zones. And then we've also got... Although, actually, I do need to send... Sends you back up here because you are recruiting extra trade ships. So we've got Saratoga. Still ship shape. And we've got Captain. Ships orders received. Ships orders. Officer on deck. Orders, Captain. Okay, let's get some. Get some extra firepower for you guys. Something like that. 
to boost your fighting strength. Shift the second rates down towards Yorktown to join the fleet. This is going to be a good, good fleet. Awaiting further orders. Okay, so yeah, so you can get Anthony Wayne back to back to here, and we can send them south to do some bits and pieces. I think though. You may now be committed. Well, first of all, I think what needs to happen is immediately. You fellows need to Set sail. come back to continental United States and have some of your units uh, replaced. So we're going to take the 2nd Regiment of Horse, which has done their job beautifully well. Run them over with my Dragoons. Uh, the Militia can guard and Boston. Forward. And then instead, this force can request uh, potentially two units of cuirassier when that when that provincial horse is gone, or maybe a unit of cuirassier and a unit of regiment of horse. Just give them a bit of a, a bit of a boost, and then yeah, I think that's okay. Although, let's get rid of the three pounder horse artillery because not a fan of horse artillery. Does I don't think it works for my style. Let's get a twenty four pounder. Nice. Bash out another end turn. To ground, but unseen. Ooh, you're getting a bit. Why would I? Why would I trade those two? No. No, no, Mexico. Bad Mexico. Very bad Mexico. As soon as we research steam engine, we're going to be <laughs> we're going to be spending all of our money every, every turn so fast, so so fast. It's going to be really difficult for us to build up a treasury. Is the Ottoman? Nope. See, that's the kind of thing that slows us down. They end up just sending individual combinations of units around. Same again. No, you are not having my technology, sir. Finland is under siege by the Swedes. Oh, they've got a fishing port there. Interesting. Workers are on strike, but now they've changed their mind. We can cancel the recruitment of the militia. Excellent. Don't worry, native peoples. We'll put you to work. You will achieve some great things. This territory is 100% Protestant. Let's get him up to... Actually, we don't need to get him up to there. Get him preemptively over towards... Yankton. It's going to take him a while. Excellent. That's all secure. The only reason I'm running my cavalry over to here is so that I may as well have one stack of At my cavalry. Sir. Well, I might as well have one stack of cavalry that's, whose job is to run around and provide, you know, garrison duties. Apart from that, let's get a bit of fighting going. It won't be very much Ready fighting, but let's get some fighting done. Because right now, there's been a, some fighting at the start and then nothing for almost the entire episode. Let's get some, get some action in before the end of the episode and uh, capture another territory. Let's get cracking. The first action of this brand new army is to put down some rebels. So let's deploy my line first, then 
boy, all my cool looking new units. Obviously, the Legion looks spectacular because these are a proper DLC unit. They are very cool looking infantry. Pumpkin Guard, they're already in Empire Total War. They, yeah, they look okay. They look quite standard for Republican Guards. I mean, they don't jump out as being particularly special. I mean, they look good, but not super different. Then Provincial Scouts are in... They're from the... From Darth mod, I think. And, yeah. I think these guys look pretty good. I like all the different hats and stuff. They're a cool-looking new edition. And a thematic new edition, I think. So let's split up my... Republicans and Light Infantry. Got my guns at the back. Burn powder, whatever you see fit. Same with my howitzers. My cavalry is not going to get a look in. They are just, they are not going to know what hit, what hit them when this army gets rolling. They've got a couple more units than this. They're being a bit coy. My Dragoon's out on the flank. We have a brand new army. Currently unbloodied. Send guys to just run up, shock and awe. I mean, shock and awe is not, <laughs> it's not a bit, a bit, a bit of an anachronism, of an anachronism, but to be one of these rebels going, ah, oh, Jesus. Oh, here they come. broke there they are throw them in to combat. Whip them in! Let's get my other cavalry down here. Get my general down here. Get your tomahawks out. Let them know who's boss. My light infantry is just a ceasefire. You guys in my light infantry can hand, can push up and deal with those guys. Cavalry, ride in and save. Ride in and save the 43rd Regiment of Foot. The 5th Regiment of Horse is going to sweep in. The infantry are broken, but the cavalry are here. Come on, you men. Gobble up that General's Bodyguard unit. And 
the general, come around the rear, get ready to smack into this garrison native warrior unit. Run around. Let's see if he dies in his first action. Get him. I thought you were marking your targets. I thought you were marking targets. Very bloody battle <laughs> against small numbers of troops. Still, I'll take it. It's a good win. Kind of. <laughs> Some experience. We'll see what remains after we've... After we've... Uh... Actually, no. Let's keep it. After we've replenished. Um, then we can push on. Let's rebuild Barbados. On abundant yield sugar plantation. So that's adding more commodities onto the market. We don't actually have that produce that much sugar. So the addition of 80 loaves of sugar will actually triple. Or result in a 200% increase of our sugar production. We produce so many furs. We trade with just so many people. Yeah, let's just trade with... You know, I may as well keep trying to trade with everybody because we've got so many goods. I mean, obviously, this is all going to come crumbling down as soon as we uh, start to declare war on people, but, you know, that happens. Let's okay. Three thousand four hundred. Ultimately, we're just churning out recruitment of stuff. Upgraded all that stuff. Shouldn't we have had an election? Oh, we did, but everyone largely got got got. Uh, Re-elected and they're, they're all reasonably good at their jobs. That's okay. Orders. Mm, Angvik Cook is currently unprotected. You're very keen to get rid of New Mexico. Mexico. See, now Spain wants an alliance. This is our true alliance because they're allied with France and Portugal... Yes, we will ally with the Catholics, and they're offering us ten grand, which is completely nothing to do with it. Very well, Spain. You may have secured your Spanish colonies for now. Whereas you, the Netherlands, you're in trouble. And you, Barbary states, you are also in trouble. It appears that our primary focus may end up being attacking the other Protestant powers. Such as attacking Britain and securing their colonies. Because now we are... Once we take out the Dutch, we will be able to focus our effort on Britain. Our navy should be okay. But we'll very much want to just keep building our navies and sending them out there. Onto the high seas, destroying British ships wherever we can. But importantly, be able to rotate ships back to the US for repair. Abolition of slavery. Huzzah. Build a dry dock. Nation destroyed Afghanistan. It's finally down. So they've gone straight on to classical economics, which is fine. It's the last philosophical tech on the board. Lots of good farm upgrades. Palatial estates are now the thing. And they're about three grand a piece so that is something we want us farms to be the great producers of the world i mean in a way i wish exporting agricultural products just like grains and stuff was a thing but I there is a limit to how how much they can how much they can do. But it could be an interesting mechanic 
similar to, I suppose you do you start to become more like Hoi 4, though, but you could imp import grain, and that would support the growth of certain regions. Uh, certain regions, like development and town development. And actually, there's some quite big dependencies there, because you're relying on an external source for your your uh, country's development and when that's cut off if you can't replace that with your own production then I think everyone's going to starve to death and the country's going to collapse so it could be quite a fun mechanic okay, you're still on your way Make ready. They are trapped we're going to attack York Factory, but I think, looking at the time, that's probably going to be where we end the episode. You're going down to join that trade fleet. You are waiting for at one unit of artillery. Yes, sir. Onward. sir. No, you're off into the east Onward. as well. Onward. Okay, I think we need to... We've got sufficient money... And our production of our production of our ships is sufficiently bottlenecked. I think what we can end up doing is just starting to recruit another army. Get a long row from a unit. Cool. Okay, so I'm not going to combine the second rates because then that'll be a really second ratey focused army, and that will look kind of lame. Ships orders. So really, I want you guys to recruit birds. Something like that. Just get recruiting. War declared between Sweden and Britain. We could potentially take advantage of that. Uh, what I'm going to do, just so that we do, this isn't a complete waste... I'm going to end the episode here with the assault on York Factory. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. Apologies, it might be might have been a bit of a slow episode, but these things happen. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time.